In today's video, I'm going over the Changely cryptocurrency exchange, all the features of this exchange, and how you can use it to easily exchange one cryptocurrency for another. Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric of Investing Apps TV, and on this channel we talk investing apps, investing tutorials, and investing principles. So if you're new here today, definitely feel free to subscribe to catch future reviews just like this one. Alright guys, so with that being said, I'm now going to share my screen with you, so let's hop into the review. All right, guys, so here we are now inside the Changely Cryptocurrency Exchange. As you can see, this is the home page here. It's a pretty simple interface. There's only a few pages, only a few simple steps to exchange cryptocurrencies. So on the home screen here, as you can see, it says exchange cryptocurrency at the best rate. Transfer from one wallet to another within seconds. It's that simple. So as you can see here, there are two boxes. The first box where it says you have right here on the left hand side, that's where you want to deposit. Which cryptocurrency do you want to exchange? And on the right hand side where it says you get, that's the cryptocurrency that you're going to receive in return for that. So right here, you'll see a little drop down menu. If you click on this little drop down arrow, it'll open up a list of cryptocurrencies that you can exchange. Now you can exchange many more than this. These are just some of the most popular, but you can scroll down here. As you could see this little scroll bar right here, you could scroll down, you could see the different types of cryptocurrencies offered. These are all of them right here. So it's a pretty long list. You can also use the functioning search bar at the top where it says search and say you're looking for uh let's just say monero you would type in mon and it pops right up you could select that and you could change to the cryptocurrency you want to exchange so that's monero you could change uh you could type in a uh, litecoin there you go litecoin anything really ethereum it pop it'll pop right up there you go so it's that easy to choose the cryptocurrency and then again on the right hand side you want to click the drop down arrow and choose the cryptocurrency that you want to receive in return so let's say for this example i wanted to exchange ethereum for let's just say litecoin i could type in litecoin click on litecoin and now i can exchange ethereum for litecoin now it automatically by default sets you up at one ethereum or one of whatever cryptocurrency you're exchanging for the equivalent amount of the other cryptocurrency in this case litecoin but you can exchange any amount you want so if i wanted to exchange let's say 0.27 ethereum it would give me this much litecoin in return 1.40 litecoin as you could see so it's pretty simple to do from there you'd click exchange but in this review i'm not going to do an actual exchange if you want to see an actual real-time exchange feel free to check out my changely tutorial video where i show you a real-time cryptocurrency swap i did on the changely exchange but for now let me go over a little more, a few more features on the exchange here. So beneath this exchange bar, you'll see right here, it says Visa and MasterCard accepted here. And if you click on the little question mark here, it says you can buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies for USD instantly. So what does that mean? Basically, one of the cool things about Changely is that it's an exchange where you can actually purchase cryptocurrency with a credit or debit card. So not all exchanges offer that, but this one does offer that feature if you want to purchase with a credit or debit card. So that's a pretty handy feature if you want to do that. A little bit below here it does explain their fees. Every exchange does have different fees. In this case, they do have a 0.5% fee on every transaction. So, you know, it's not the cheapest fee, but it's also not the most expensive fee. But again, if you're doing instant cryptocurrency exchanges, it might be worth it for you to pay that 0.5%. It's a lot cheaper than some other exchanges, uh, such as Coinbase, for example where it's either 1.5% to 4%. Of course, Coinbase does offer its advantages too, and I think it's a little bit easier. But this is also another option if you want to exchange cryptocurrencies that Coinbase doesn't offer. Below that, it does show you your crypto coins are converted at the best rate. So as you can see here, it shows you the current exchange rates for several different types of cryptocurrencies on the exchange here. So you can see it currently shows you how much you would get of every cryptocurrency for your Ethereum, because I entered Ethereum. But check this out. If I scroll back up to the top, and I change this Ethereum to, let's say, Bitcoin, and I go back down to the exchange rate, it'll then update it to what I can get for my Bitcoin. So it'll show you how much you can get of each cryptocurrency for Bitcoin. So as you can see currently at the time of this video, one Bitcoin is worth 20.15 Ethereum. And if you see, it has all kinds of cryptocurrencies here and the current exchange rate. And again, you could adjust it as well down here. So you don't have to actually scroll back up. You could change that to Ethereum or any cryptocurrency you want that's basically it on the home page here but let's go back up to the top here and actually click on how it works so this just gives you a little breakdown in case you're wondering how does changely actually work in this example you are crypto wallet number one you exchange your cryptocurrency you send it to them in this example 15 litecoin to changely changely then selects the best crypto trade and as you could see follow it along here 
it goes into their best available rate on the market. So if you're exchanging Litecoin for Dogecoin in this example, Dogecoin, however you want to pronounce it, you would then get back 396 Dogecoin. So as you can see, it goes back to Changely. Changely charges uh, that 0.5% fee I mentioned. Then as you can see in this example, it goes back to your cryptocurrency wallet that you're receiving. So not your original wallet, because your original wallet was your sending wallet for Litecoin. Your receiving wallet is your receiving wallet where you're receiving the receiving cryptocurrency, if that makes sense. So hope that does. That's just a little breakdown chart where it shows you how Changely works. It's pretty simple, actually. If you click on facts here, you can see a further breakdown of different facts, how it works. I'll let you guys read that if you want to read more into that, but it's very transparent how everything works. So basically, that's really it with the home page of the exchange. If you click on my account here after you join, you can always click on your profile. And one of the cool things about Changely I really like is you can add on two-step authentication. As you can see here with the Google Authenticator app, I really love that because not all exchanges or websites offer two-factor authentication. And in today's day and age, that's a great extra feature to have to help secure your account. Uh, so basically, I definitely recommend enabling that with Google Authenticator. It's a lot more secure than text message two-factor authentication. So definitely recommend enabling that if you're going to join Changely. Here you can update your password if you want, as well as connect your social networks, but you don't have to do that. Going back to my account, you can then click on history. And here you can see your recent transactions that you did on Changely. So as you can see, I did a recent transaction here on November 23rd. Uh, I exchanged 3.77 Bitcoin gold. Uh, here was the total fee at the time of the transaction. And this was how much um, the exchange rate was. One Bitcoin gold at the time equaled 0 0.04 Bitcoin, which is what I exchanged it for at the time. And then it shows you the amount received, the amount of Bitcoin that you received. So that's basically it for there. Um, but again, you can always keep track of your transactions here if you need to. You can click on that and it will open up more details, which I'll show you the, more of these details in my tutorial video. You'll This will make more sense then. But basically, that's pretty much all you have to know about the Changely Exchange. If you go back to the homepage here, Again, once you choose how much you want to exchange of a cryptocurrency, you would then click on exchange. It would simply take you to the next page and prompt you how to proceed from there. You would click on next right here. It'll show you the estimated arrival time, the current exchange rate, as well as the fee included. You would click on next and enter your address that you want to receive your cryptocurrency at. But again, I'm not going to show you that in this video. This is just a review video. I'll go over that in full detail in my tutorial video. But that's pretty much it for today's review, and I hope it was helpful. All right, guys, that pretty much sums up today's review for the Changely Cryptocurrency Exchange. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of this exchange. Have you ever used Changely before, or do you see yourself using it going forward? And again, if you would like to learn more about Changely, I've linked it down below, as well as a recap of all of its features. Now, if you would like to see a real-time cryptocurrency exchange using Changely, feel free to check out part two of this video series, my Changely tutorial video, where I show you a real-time swap between one cryptocurrency for another on Changely. I'll link that video down in the description below, as well as up in the card, in case you're interested. So thanks guys for checking out today's video. If you'd like to see more cryptocurrency exchange reviews, feel free to check out my playlist of them right over here to the right. And lastly guys, if you have any questions about the Changely cryptocurrency exchange, feel free to leave your questions down below in the comments and I'm always happy to answer those for you. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.